This is Irish Illustrated's one, two, three. It's one question, two analysts, three minutes. Our question for today is, who are the best players that Notre Dame will face on the 2020 football schedule? Not including Clemson's players, because Not otherwise we'd just, Clemson's be, players. we'd just be yes. sitting here talking about Clemson for a while. Right, so we're, so, yeah. so we're eliminating from, from competition. Yeah. A lot Trevor of guys. Lawrence, <laughs> Travis Atn, Justin Ross, uh, freshman All-American yeah. defensive tackle Tyler Davis. So the other 11 opponents is who we'll be focusing on. You know, I want to start um, away from the other obvious because there's plenty of USC guys we'll get into as we talk about this. But um, senior day, I think one of the most explosive athletes comes in, and that's Louisville's 2-2 Atwell. He gave Notre Dame fits last year in the first half when he was a young player that didn't know what he's doing. Well, 1,200 yards and a dozen touchdowns later, I think he's a now a veteran player that is really well-versed in Scott Satterfield's new offense. I think Atwell will have a great year. Uh, he is one of those kind of Rondell Moore light weapons. And when I say light, he's 155 pounds, so really light. But uh, he is a weapon that's coming to Notre Dame Stadium. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good comparison. Tutu Atwell, 11 touchdowns last year, six of them over 50 yards. And I'd throw out another – I mean, that's explosive. I'd throw out another uh, skill position player for Louisville. That's running back JV and Hawkins, who rushed for more than 1,500 yards and had eight 100-yard games. But, you know, I, there, there's some – Pittsburgh has a pass rusher in, in Jalen Twy Twyman, who had 10 and a half sacks. Uh, Paris Ford is their safety. He's excellent. He chose to return for his senior year. Paul, uh, although Stanford is somewhat depleted, Paulson Adebo, we know, is a, is a great player. And, and Walker Little, the offensive tackle, who basically missed the entire last uh, 2019 season, is, is gone as well. I think Adiba will bounce back. I remember two years ago, he had 24 passes defended. And for people listening to raw numbers, that's a Notre Dame record, one more than Julian Love's 23. I think he'll have a big bounce back season. You mentioned pass rushers. Duke coming into Notre Dame Stadium. Chris Rumpf, the second. Uh, he has played in 25 games in his career, but only started two. He has 21 and a half tackles for loss, or the same amount as Owusu Koromoa and Drew White combined. So he's a playmaker back there. Notre Dame kind of handled him last year, but he did have two pressures in that game. They killed Duke. So I think people forget how good he can be. Yeah, let me correct myself. Walker Little is back for the 20, uh, yeah. 2020 season after missing last year and having a great 2018 season. Another Duke guy, Victor Dimukeji, had eight and a half sacks himself. There were some, there were some, remember going into that game, there were some really um, well developed pass rushers for Duke that Notre Dame was, was able to stymie. Yeah. Um, you know, I would, I would mention, uh, say Surratt, I know that you like uh, yeah. him a lot and he had, he had the thousand yards and 11 touchdowns in just nine games last year. Wake Forest has a pass rusher themselves, Carlos Basham Jr. He had, uh, he had 11 sacks and 18 tackles for loss last year alone. So a um, couple of good, really good football players earlier in the schedule. And we went out of our way not to talk about Clemson. And we have actually accidentally gone out of our way not to talk about USC, I think. And we can continue the Priester O'Malley debate of Amon Ross St. Brown versus Tyler Vaughns because they're both back along with Keaton Slovis. And as long as Notre Dame plays USC at the final game of the season, those three guys will be a problem, especially if Notre Dame needs that one win to get into the playoffs. Those are among the top players that Notre Dame will face in 2020. This has been Irish Illustrated's one, two, three.